new study shows explosive increase of non-religious in the United States of America. According to the National Public Opinion Reference Survey, or NPOR is for short, of the Pew Research Center, around three out of 10 adults now consider themselves unaffiliated to any religion. The, the survey shows that more than 10 years ago, 75% of adults identified as Christians. Now, the number has significantly dropped to 63%. A similar annual survey conducted by Gallup reflects that before 2000, church membership was consistently above 70%, but by 2020, it dropped down to 47%. The decline is seen mostly in the decline in the Protestant population is higher than within the Catholic and Mormon populations. David Campbell, a professor at the University of Notre Dame who also wrote about the secularization in America, said that the, the, that the decline in religious identity is at least in part a reaction to the political environment. So I wanted to talk about this news because it has been a bombshell news and every freaking secular and atheist organization in this country and abroad is talking about this news because look at that slope, baby. And look at us climb <laughs> <laughs> in such a short amount of time as well it's crazy wow oh other religions only grow from five to six that's great so it's not like they're leaving christianity for other religions they're leaving christianity for no religion we're winning we're winning we're winning so like the people who are saying oh people are leaving christianity for islam no they're not look at this number okay but go on this is such a beautiful graph. It's so beautiful. I love it. I know. Wish it's really happened. exciting. I think yeah. just to be clear, like when we say that it's like um, non-religious or religiously unaffiliated, this doesn't necessarily mean atheist. This oftentimes could mean people who have some sort of like vague spirituality or spiritual beliefs that don't fit into a religious label, or it could be people who um, are atheists but don't self-identify as atheists and this can also include actual self-identified atheists and agnostics you know like all of these people are included within this percentage right but um th that doesn't mean that it's 100 percent atheists like i read a lot of articles about this and oftentimes they do profile people who left religion they're religiously unaffiliated but they still um believe in a higher power or they still have they, they do tarot, you know, like other vague spiritual beliefs. Um, yeah, so it's yeah. Not... It's just like you, for most, for most, for most people, it's just a temporary holding place. Mm -hmm. um, this is a large part of this. No religion is atheist, and so that's yes. that's well. Like if there was an atheist graph, that would maybe be under here, but it will also have a slope upwards, right? So <laughs> I love yeah. this. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> No. <laughs> no i mean i hope so actually um i at what point would these cross what year i wonder like the headline news for atheist republic one day be they're more non they are people more non-christians than christians in the united states that would be the i day. think honestly i think that that's a possibility within the next 10 years no way really oh my god yes that's fantastic I, I, okay, I honestly would, do have a possibility. That would, that would be great. I don't know how likely guys, it is, but I think it's a possibility. Guys, and this is Pew Research Center, right? It doesn't get better than Pew and Gallup, right? These are the mm -hmm. these one of the best, um, one of the most authentic, you know, legitimate sources of, of, you know, polling data. Like, they know their stuff. These are, it doesn't get really better than this. Like, Anyways. The, the, yeah. It fell... 13 percent 12 to 13 percent in 10 yep. years that's crazy. that's crazy that is crazy so that's why i'm saying if if you have that growth again in the next 10 years that'll put christians below 50 percent what happened here <laughs> no, look at, <laughs> no armin look at the timeline what happened there is the big disease going around yeah 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 interesting <laughs> well we don't yeah interesting we had some setbacks here but we made up for it right away 
<laughs> oh, what what happened here? Hmm, interesting. Trump. That's what happened. Trump oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, we don't know if these are um, these correlations or causations. So, I yeah, mean, just it's a reminder. pretty fair estimation. It's a good guess, but again, they're just guesses. We have no uh, reason to know for sure, right? Um, okay. Well, no. What I want to yeah, say though yeah. is that polls like this and data like this shows why it is important for secular people to get it. I actually don't like the word secular for non-believers because Christians or what, religious people can be secular. So non-believers, it's important for non-believers to be vocal in politics. And this is what I'm saying as an individual, okay? Because you don't want, we have been increasingly, we're increasingly powerful within the um, proportion of our population, right? But we are, we are not powerful within our own body politic, right? Where is our representation? Where do we have politicians that talk about our desires for a really firm separation of church and state? Um, we have the Republicans, which are so far gone. And literally there are scholars saying that people are leaving religion because of how the, the conservative side of the aisle has has taken over this issue. Like it's actually motivating people to leave. So that like, cause of how bad it is. So we have that on that side of the aisle, but then on the democratic side of the aisle, we have Democrats that continue to just pander to religious populations because they are trying to pull people over and get moderates as much as they can. So we don't actually, in my opinion, really have people who, um, or we don't have as m many people as I would want us to have who do reflect our values and who do fight for our issues. We have amazing um, representatives like Representative um, Jamie Raskin, who helped introduce into the House um, the bill that prioritized the repeal of blasphemy and apostasy laws in you know the United States bilateral foreign relationships. Um, so like stuff like that is amazing, or the Secular Coalition of America is amazing, or there's a um, uh, free thinker caucus, like these are all good things, but we need more. And so, um, you know, non-believers who dismiss you as saying, oh, you're just trying to get political or that's what religious people do. Like, and we don't want to be like them. They're actually doing everyone, including religious people, a massive disservice with that kind of attitude. So, um, that's the reason why actually what Mingumin is saying here is not true. Like you're saying, great to see America becoming more secular. Well, actually, it's not. The people are leaving religion, but for some reason, the politics is becoming less secular. I mean, look at the Supreme Court. Um, look at, you know, Q, Q, the rise of Q. Look at women's rights. Look at abortion laws. Like these are being challenged. We're going, like, I mean, it and the like governor abbott who puts forward or you know sb8 the texas abortion law they they they're citing god the entire yeah. time they're talking about these issues like there's no way that anyone could mistake it for anything else they're explicitly religious when they're pushing forward these policies it's right like i don't know how that's not seen as like um what's the word like uh ne neglect of your own office like it's crazy <laughs> so so the demographic change will not lead into a political change unless non-religious people become politically active right like this is why you get a government that is not representative of its people especially because what susanna said a lot of secular or non-religious people non-religious is more accurate to say, are allergic to be becoming organized and doing political stuff because they like, yeah, it sounds like religion. It's too much like, well, okay, great. You give give the monopoly over the influence over our lives to religion because you guys are feel achy to get organized because you think like four people getting together and doing something, you think that's religious. 
Like, oh, you're, what are you going to do next? Meet on Sunday and have like a collection pay, uh, play? Like, oh, yeah. So that by that argument, every single charity or every other movement, Maybe every single. Will. Maybe yeah, we will. Every single civil rights movement in history becomes a religion based on these people's definition of what a religion is, right? So this is why you suffer under religious, you know, by religious politicians because you guys are too stupid some atheists and some non-religious people are too stupid to realize that religion doesn't have a monopoly over um, activism it doesn't have a monopoly over creating communities it doesn't have monopoly over charity it doesn't have monopoly over actually taking actions and doing something and you thinking that it does makes them more powerful and lets them rule over you so congratulations you played yourself enjoy not having access to abortion i guess right hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below